Growth in the fitness industry has been pumped up in recent years. We are living longer. Crunch franchise, one of the top franchises with clubs in 26 states and four countries. Joining us right now to talk more about the business is the CEO and founding partner of Crunch Franchise, Ben Midgley. Ben, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Characterize the market for us right now. Well, the fitness industry has been growing pretty well over the last 10 years. Uh, the membership across the United States right now is about 60 million people, so about a 20% penetration rate. Uh, it's been growing at about 3 to 4% right year, uh, a year right now, and um, I'm expecting a lot of that to continue with all the, you know, the positive influences we have on people being more aware of their health and fitness and the benefits of that. So uh, right now it's strong, goes in a lot of different areas, but uh, very positive. So, Ben, you know, I was talking to a director at one of the uh, national insurance companies, and mm -hmm. the data they have says that over 45% of a person's longevity is their DNA, you know, what they inherit. But 45% or more is from participating in active physical exercise, health. Right. Another 10% is you get hit by a truck. So, I mean, you're, you're playing right to, you know, as Maria said, all of us are concerned about longevity and health, so that ought, to, that ought to really help you in your marketing programs, correct? I mean, how do you go to market with that, with those facts? And, yeah. and is it recess, recession resistant? Yeah, okay, yeah. Two points there. So from that standpoint, that's one of the, the major factors driving more people into health and fitness. There's about four or five of them right now. Obviously, insurance companies uh, want people to exercise because they're less expensive to insure. And of course, you're adding more years to your life and more life to your years. You yes. know, so you're healthier. By exercise. Exactly. Um, the, the drive for uh, organic foods, healthy ingredients is getting people more conscious about what they're eating. Uh, the introduction of wearables over the last few years has provided uh, people a lot of feedback on their health and fitness. So it's, it's getting them more uh, involved in their heart rate, their blood pressure their activity levels, their calorie counts, um, streaming videos so people can just exercise you know, at home is very helpful and then of course the growth in the, in the fitness space right now that we're seeing. What's, what's yeah. your advice to people out there who aren't in shape? What's the one or two things yeah. that they can do to start <laughs> Good getting Good question, John. Yeah, I think the, the most important thing for that, I've been in the industry almost 30 years, is you just have to start you know, slowly and whatever works for you is best. So to the point that we're talking about, yeah. there's so many different ways people are getting active right now, whether it's you know, one of the outdoor races like uh, Tough Mudder or something like that. Yep. Uh, exercising in your home. Just My mother's 76 years old. She's wearing a Fitbit now and she's exercising more than she ever has and I've been trying to get her exercise for years. That's fantastic. Yeah. Ben, oh, you got God. a great grip and you look in shape. How many hours a day are you hitting it? Me? me? Well, yeah. Get, you know, got three kids, busy family, uh, about uh, about an hour. An, an hour, hour a day, every day. Good for you. Ben Mitchell, Crunch Fitness.